what's up y'all fire tracks here so shout out to chase freedom for asking me to break down this sample that i posted on uh instagram the other day and inside of the uh the realm group but let me walk you through how i came up with the original sample so most of the instruments came from contact or logic stop sounds so let's start there but here's the breakdown i started with the piano so here's what it sounds like that's a contact piano so all I did was filter filter out the uh, some lows on it boosted a little mid to give it a vintage radio vibe so that's on that's off all right so I started there next thing I did was um, I know I wanted organ brass and those things uh, so that it sounds you know like a band funk style gospel style sample soul you know what i mean so here's what the brass line sounds like and that's a logic brass uh library stock then i added to complement that session horns from contact playing the exact same thing Combined. With the piano. Then I added organ. And this is a logic organ, by the way. Then I added strings to it. And I was using the modulation wheel to give me my soils. Like right there. Violin on top of that. And this is a Mellotron violin, by the way, because I wanted it to sound dirty. So for drums, I use the Logic Stock Kit. And I think it was one of the vintage uh, 70s kits, but I just played it through. No, un unquantized, because I wanted it to have a live feel. claps to that tambourine so then I said I wanted some guitar samples you know I gotta have the guitar strum and the mute guitar so this is the strum mute guitar came from contact I think it's a Scarby bass From East West Sounds, I use a soul sample library to give me these background vocals. Yeah, 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 Lead vocals. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
All together. And then I highlighted highlighted everything and bust it to its own bus. So if I go from let's go from here. Oops, come on. So then I grouped everything basically and sent it out to its own bus right here, bus five. And on the bus, I added by slate virtual tape machine to give it some analog saturation and warmth. <laughs> to kind of glue everything together put it in, in the same space then i i didn't i i initially wanted to add some vinyl to it and i said you know what now nah, let me leave it out i can do that on the final version if i want to and i'll show you what i did there filtered out some top and some bottom so filtered out the sub harmonic frequencies and some high frequencies <laughs> So I wanted to have that, you know, vintage sound where everything wasn't bright and crispy. And then I just bounced that out from Logic to a stereo file, which is down here. Pitch shifted it over here, up three. And it gave me that. That was the breakdown of the sample, or that's how I made the sample. Now, in the hook sections, did some more processing on it. I filtered out some more low frequencies, high frequencies, because I just wanted just that mid scoop for that radio effect, and being cognizant of the fact that vocals might sit on top of this. I wanted to make space for it, then I added tape mellow fi Turn up some drive, added some tone, some noise, flutter, a little bit of wow to warp things, some wear, left the mechanics down on zero. Oh, and then filtered out right here, 17%, some top. So that's off. gave me the vibe basically oh then I sent the sample to some reverb over here so I did a little send logic stock hall sample and on the sample itself I did the same thing filtered out some lows for that same mid range and some top because I wanted the reverb to be dark Now there was a certain section of the song where I think I reversed the sample. But 
me show you something else I could have done too that you could do to help out your um, samples if you want to take it to another level. You can add, let me show you what it sounds like first if I wanted to. So if I click on the file, go up here to the top left and just check off on the where it says track. Oh, sorry. I think I was there already. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Don't tell me I can't find it. Oh, because I got to bounce it out again. All right, hold on. All right, so if I wanted to reverse that same sample, here it is. Notice up here in the left, it says reverse. Just check that off. It gives you this. So let's put it back original. All right, so once I had my sample done, I then took the sample and I'm gonna do it again from scratch. I grabbed it, I dragged it down to the left, opened up a Logix. I'm clicking and holding with my left mouse, dropped it to where it says quick sampler original. It then imports the sample into the Logic quick sampler. From there, I can go up to pitch right here, go to course. I can pitch it up again if I wanted to. Let me solo the quick sampler. Now I'm pressing on my MIDI keyboard. All right, and I'm just triggering MIDI from my MIDI keyboard. And it's just playing the same sample. I could make it into an R&B beat just off of that. All right. From there, you can go to slice, just like any other sampler. Let it auto slice it. Adjust your sensitivity to give you different slice points across your keyboard. stuff like that and of course you can just click and drag these slice points around if you want to adjust like if I wanted that longer yeah you can mess with glide you know what I mean stuff like that come over here to filter change the cutoffs Add some drive. Resolution. And you can even automate that too. And this right here, C1D1, D1, E1, that's just the corresponding keyboard notes, by the way. All right. And I can make a whole new beat out of that. So, watch this. Let's turn on just our drums. is different so let's loop that
so you can do all that kind of stuff right there. And this can get very, you can get in depth with this sampler, turn on snap, you know, polyphony, all of that stuff. But in a nutshell, that's how I made that sample. Hope this helped Chase and anyone else that's needing to um, make your own soul sample so that you don't have to worry about clearing a soul sample. All right. Let me let you hear the full beat of what I did. Um, when I started the intro, obviously, I left the sample just pitched up. Let's mute all of this. Close that folder. All right. So I kind of left it unfiltered right there. Just pitched up three. Then I filtered it down. And then flipped it. And this would be my hook section, basically. section no drums bring the beat back in yeah okay yeah 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 i ain't gonna rap for y'all y'all get the point hopefully that helped man i hope y'all was able to find value in that and if you did go ahead and click the like and subscribe button for your boy you know what i mean all right be blessed